What's up guys, Scott Martin here, sitting on Toledo Bend Reservoir in Texas. Today is gonna be a sight fishing challenge like no other. I've got two special guests, Russell Cecil and Todd Castledine. Todd's gonna be fishing with me. I've had him on the show before. This guy knows how to catch them. Russell Cecil just won the Everstart tournament here on Toledo Bend just a few weeks ago. His teammate, sight fishing specialist and angler of the year, Park Winlet. I'll tell you what, these guys know how to catch them. We've got our hands full. Stay tuned. It's going to be an awesome show. Can you see this one from here, Clark? <laughs> 14 pounds, 5 ounces, National Guard Pro Scott Martin. Yeah, this is my show and my challenge. Each week I go out on the water with a different pro angler for a little friendly competition. Scott Martin, you're going down. No money on the line, just bragging rights. Yeah! <laughs> God, look at that, buddy. <laughs> About to get a little freak nasty on him. Yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> we're starting on it, though. No, we're starting on it. <laughs> we're the guest, man. This is your home lake. That is you true. You really got to treat your guest a little bit better than that. This is home lake. No, I don't even live close this to This is yet. your house. Uh, it's not mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the bank's, right? You just make no, the bank. No, it's, it's really not it's Kelly Owen. <laughs> we just showed up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just up here. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Simple challenge. Instead of bringing them in doing our normal deal, we're just going to weigh them on the lake. We've got that digital scale. We've got scales that are similar. We'll weigh them. We'll document them. We'll let them go. <laughs> hey, y'all gotta wait now. You can't be leaving. I'm putting my. There goes the put... power poles. <laughs> you could have rewind last night. Hey, we're not starting. We're just looking. They're gonna do everything. Like if if you had a rule, it, not a, like a breaking the rule. I'm just saying like they're gonna start. I guarantee they're gonna. They're taking right advantage now. of every situation. Oh yeah, they're gonna start right now. Are they gonna go to that ten pounder right now? Th there's a possibility. Everybody's got their own problems. You gotta stay in the cove you're in. Dude, we gotta hurry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, we don't get to fish together very much, but uh, sight fishing on Toledo. It's gonna be fun. Literally the best lake in the country. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty awesome. Dude, they're taking off, man. Hey, you cannot leave yet. I don't even, no, 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 no. You can't go yet. They're on high going down the bank. Dude, let's go. They might even, I think they even stopped, look, they even stopped it on one right now. Oh my gosh. You got this hay grass stuff. You got milk. Look at that one, dude. You got hydrilla. Oh, that's perfect. That is a four pounder there. What I think about what's going on over here right now is the spawn's just really getting started. We had a really cold winter. We're just getting to where we're hitting 60s, and it's still in the 50s overnight right now. So, kind of on the leading edge of the spawn right now. Well, I don't think it was that. I mean, I, I think there was a bigger one there with it. Oh. But I mean, it wasn't ever there when I went. When I, I did you see you. a bigger one just a second ago? Basically, we're hunting today. We're going to pass up a lot of fish to, to find a really big one, and hopefully that's what's going to happen today. Two eight. Two pounds, eight ounces. That's a start, though. Two nine, actually. That's right. You know, this time of year when you're fishing, you're catching spawning bass. That's just the way it is. We're going to release all these fish. They'll go right back to the bed. It's no big deal. And so, but it's a fun way to fish. Every cove on this entire lake has the potential of finding some giant bass. We're going to need at least 20. And there's a chance if, if a couple of us get lucky, we can catch some, maybe even a double digit fish. Now these creeks like this, can you run these or these stumps? Everywhere? We can run this one. See what I love about this Garmin? Check this out, dude. Like I can have my big map over here. I see the whole lake, all the different coves. And then we can zoom in and scroll around. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then like, just see where you want to fish, you know? Yeah. Right off the bat, you know, we don't go very long at all. I look down the water and I see one that it's, you know, I think it's a five pounder. It's, it's locked on tight. It's right there, perfect. You can see it good. We power pulled down on that fish, thinking this is, this is a good way to start, you know, start out right off the bat. Look at her. She's just sitting right there, too. Got to do yeah. <laughs> I think 
got boat flipper. <laughs> <laughs> well, they better start. We gotta go get some more now. That was awesome. Todd is a fantastic fisherman. We've talked about Clark, we've talked about Russell, but let me tell you something, I'm gonna talk about Todd for a minute. He makes more money than I do fishing the FLW Tour. He's just taking everybody's money around here. There you go. Five, five fifty-six. Got it. Nice. Awesome. Right. Let it go, she'll go right back over there. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Evan Rood e -Tech, power, performance, and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. And by Garmin, the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Laser Trocar, surgically sharpened hooks. Okuma Fishing Tackle, there's no stopping Okuma. And by Bob's Machine Shop. Go fast, go shallow, go efficient. Make sure to follow the Scott Martin Challenge online to stay up to date with all the latest videos, fishing tips, and much more. Don't forget to find us on Facebook for a chance to win a fishing trip with Scott Martin on world famous Lake Okeechobee. See her coming in on the bottom? Oh, yeah. How's it look from up there? <laughs> I'm taller than you now. I know. <laughs> This will come in handy today. I can see just the part of it. She's catchable. I try to do it without catching the male, but I see the, I see yeah, the I male. See her. I see the female. She's all over She's it. She's all over it. <laughs> see how she got low to the water? Yeah, you should She's be low able, now. If you hit her one time in the head, I think she'll. Oh, no, did she no, bite it? No, she didn't. You sure she didn't? Yes, like... I promise you. Even though sight fishing is a lot of fun, it's very frustrating at the same time. Because, you know, as you're trolling along, you see these fish. And that's what started happening to us. We just forget it, dude. Ah! And that's what you do, is whether you should stay or should you go. You know, it's just one of those deals that just drive you absolutely crazy. But on the flip side, when you catch it, it's like, it's like a feeling like no other. No, I figured in the first probably 20 minutes in the morning, Clark and Cecil probably had 20 pounds. I mean, these guys are fantastic fishermen. You know, Russell has won two back-to-back -back ever starts here on Lake Toledo Bend. Uh, he's won multiple tournaments here on the lake. And then you think about Clark Willett for a minute. This guy's won Anger of the Year FLW three times. And he has won a lot of tournaments sight fishing. This guy knows how to catch some sight fishing. It's got me nervous. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's awesome. laughs> you know, when you're sight fishing this time of year, they're always going to be somewhere around the spawn. It doesn't necessarily mean they're on a bed, but they're going to be around a bed near going to a bed feeding for the spawn or moving off garden fry and so it's actually guarding or protecting the bed right there and we're able to catch it uh weigh that fish let it go and, and five minutes later it'll be right back on the same bed 311 on this one okay. todd's trolling motor down the bank i'm standing up on the cooler and we look down the bank and todd sees a giant laying in this hole yeah, i hope she did and it won't bite it keeps circling around it nips at the bait a few times and we're running out of options. And a little trick that we do on a, on a female sometimes that, that won't quite commit to the bait, and it's, it, it's an idea that Todd came up with, is catching the male. Okay. Oh, that's the other one. This is crazy, man. Get a cast net, dude. Just sling it out there. Here we go. Got the male. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna weigh him. See if things happen now. It has been super hard to catch them fishing around. Like you said, you almost had to see them on a bed to catch them up to this point. Down this side. There's another one. Yeah. Is it a fish? <laughs> That's cool. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> no, I just heard, I just heard kaboom. <laughs> Clark's calling out my shots for me. I don't even know when I get a bite. <laughs> Type fishing is a difficult way to fish a bass tournament. And the reason is, is because you just never know what personality of fish you're gonna get. And I mean, sometimes you get one that's really, really easy and you can catch three big ones in a hurry. And sometimes you get stuck on one, it takes two hours. You go to the next one, you spend an hour and you can't catch it. So three hours are gone and you hadn't caught a fish. Weighs 114. Gained an ounce. Yes, exactly. We got 13.12 pounds right now. Closed captioning for the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. 
Check us out at angle-usa.com for more information and a chance to win a guided fishing trip with Scott Martin on Lake Okeechobee. Hey, if you guys are in the market for a brand new cooler, be sure to check out Ingle Coolers. And I'll tell you why, whether I'm fishing, bass fishing, saltwater fishing, hanging out at the beach or camping, I use Ingle Coolers because they have the leading industry in ice retention. What does that mean? It's gonna keep ice in here all week long, seven to 10 days. And here's why. Number one, great latches. Look at these latches here. It keeps everything good and tight, very thick insulation, and a nice airtight seal right here around the edge. It has a nice tray right here as well that if you wanna keep your sandwiches elevated from the ice so that nothing gets soggy, I keep all my dry stuff in there. Obviously keep all my waters in there. It's got a nice little soft top here. So anytime I'm you know, maybe even sitting on it or sight fishing like we've done uh, in some of the shows, I like to stand on it. It's a great cooler for that reason. The other thing that it has is a nice oversized drain plug. So drains very quickly and easily. You know, Engel not only leads in this category of coolers, but they also lead in the 12 volt fridge freezer category. These are the type of coolers you can plug into cigarette lighters or hook up to a power source. They'll freeze or or refrigerate very quickly. So for more information about Ingalls products, be sure to check them out online. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bruiser Bates, knocking out the competition. Powerful, swift, silent, secure. And by River to Sea, lures that produce results from River to Sea. All right, let's just roll. We gotta get some other size fish. Some fours, three and a half fours. Fives, we're gonna need some fives. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I need some energy. And I've got my red bulls right here, my sugar free. What, uh, what do you want? I don't know, man, how much ice you got in there? You got, it's just full, how long does that thing keep ice for? It's, uh, they say eight days. I, I've, uh, I've had it close to eight days with ice. That's unbelievable. There's not even any water in there. No, 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 it's no. Just all it's ice. all, look how thick the hit no, is. I, know. I mean, that's, yeah. that's why you can stand on the thing. That's our bed fishing platform, baby. Most of the sight fishing is all decision making, and it's always hard to leave one going, I'll find another one. But this is one of the few lakes you can leave them and go find 10 more. I wouldn't stay too long on one unless, unless it's a big one. Tournament bass fishing, sight fishing, it's tough. You know, it's just one of those things, you get on the wrong fish, the wind's blowing, and right now we just can't really find any good ones, so keep going. This is an addicting lake, man, it is impossible. It's just like you get in a place and there's bass everywhere, and what do you do? I mean, you, you just wanna keep fishing for them. Right. It ain't happening. Can we run right here? Yeah. All right. All right, so. We've come over here, and Todd's got a, a big one he found yesterday. You know, we, we've kind of got yeah, behind the eight it. ball. You know, it's getting midday, and we, we've got to make something happen. You know, we've got one really good fish, and we've got some threes and some high twos. You know, we need a big, big bag. I got her. Got her. Got her? You got her? Yeah, you I got her. Bam, yeah! We don't need that other one now. We don't need that other one now. You know, in most of these tournaments, you have to fish by yourself, so do I. And it, it's really an advantage being able to fish with someone. I mean, he's on the cooler. I mean, we're driving, you're driving, I'm looking up at the front. There's a lot of neat little tricks you can do to catch fish. Oh, dude, that was awesome, man. What does that give us? 20, 20, a little over 20. All right, a little over 20, but we've got, we've got, we got two a couple small, hours. Couple small ones, too. Couple so small ones. We, we easy do? to call big ones. Let's just go for the, Let's just go for it. So we were just looking for an area that looked right and toward the end of the day we found a place uh, shallow. We were a little upset with ourselves for running around as much as we did and not kind of keying in on this earlier because it's something that we had ran by. Three pounds, eight ounces. Clark and I have a challenge in front of us so we got to go out there and catch big ones or uh, we're going to embarrass ourselves. Yeah, she's, I mean, she just cruised off, I mean. Bass typically aren't that shy looking at the line, but that P-line braid is so smooth. It flips it out there smooth. It goes through your guides quietly. But here's the advantage to braid. It's very sensitive. So when you'd feel that little bite, you'd feel that little pressure change, you could set the hook and you'd hide the fish. If you're fishing monofilament or even fluorocarbon, a lot of times you'll miss those bites. Absolutely. Not huge, but at least it'll cold something. Yeah. Okay.
Bass Pro Shops has the best selection of hooks anywhere on the planet. If you're looking for Laser Trocar, be sure to stop in your local Bass Pro Shops where they'll have all your bases covered or check them out online at BassProShops.com. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by P-Line, delivering the leading edge of quality, high-performance fishing line. Hendry County Tourism, and by Startron, enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. So one of the cool things about sight fishing is that every fish acts a little bit different. That's what makes sight fishing really fun. He's following you down. Yeah. Oh, got her, got her, got her. Got yeah, her. you gotta stop on two and three pounders every once in a while, but for the most part, you, you gotta go big or go home. Sure. Yeah, we're gonna have to pass by a lot of fish to finally get to the weight that we need. That gives us over 20 pounds. That gives us a shot of weight. That gives us a shot. So that was an awesome fish to catch. Hit yeah, total. total. 2261. There you go. All right. Woo-hoo! Cart Winlet, you better be catching them, boy. Because it's not gonna fare so well. We're starting to get on them. Cecil's Russell better be catching them too. We like to call them. Backwards. Yeah. Let me show you my setup real quick for today's fishing. You know, we're sight fishing, so it's pretty simple. We're not doing a lot of casting around. Uh, my bait of choice is this Bruiser Intruder, a little white one. I like the white baits because you can see them. 50% smaller than lead. This is a River to Sea tungsten weight. I really enjoy that as well. Uh, TK-130 hook. That's, that's the hook I use just for about for everything. 7.6 Signature Series Akuma matched up with the new TCS Helios Reel, sweet reel, and, and braided line. You know, I started using braids several years ago when I started sight fishing, uh, and I really, I really enjoy it, uh, and I'll tell you why. Number one, you feel those light bites. This is P-Line braid. P-Line has come out with a brand new braid, the best braid I've ever used by far, so I'm super excited about that. But that's my setup, pretty simple. We're cruising around looking for them. Good pair of sunglasses, go fishing. Is he still there? The little, the big one's just sitting there. I figure if we pull that little one in, we can catch the big one pretty fast. When you're side fishing, you know, every bit of height helps, and I'm vertically challenged. I'm not upset about spending some time on it. It's a little one. You know, a lot of times, I always kind of try to get up. If I'm on the front of the boat, I'll kind of even stand up on the Minco to trolling motor and just get up there as high as I can. And uh, today, Hey, Russell's running the boat and it's working great. I jump back up on that Evan Road and I mean, I can see everywhere. I mean, you know, it's just like everything lights up. And you know, usually I can't do that because what happens is, is I'm, I'm running the trolling motor, but I was, you know, hey, he's just as good at running the trolling motor as me. So I just jump up there and it, it, was, it was pretty cool. I caught a couple up there, you caught a couple up there. It worked out pretty good. You had to work pretty hard at that one, didn't you? <laughs> did I tear that all loose? The first? Oh, I don't know. Somebody don't know. else did that. That's a good one, huh? That's a good four pounder at least. Maybe a little heavier. We needed that one. We did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big one? Yeah. Holes up? I got it. I mean, in my opinion, Toledo Bend's probably one of the best lakes in Texas right now. May be the best lake in Texas and could even be, you know, one of the top five or ten in the country right now. About time we doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. She's on it. She's up high. Yes. She's all over it. Yeah. She turned around. Oh, she's nosing on it. She's facing. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. She's going down. She's going down. Got her. Look at that. Fell out. Woo. Game day, dude. Oh, nice. But that one pulls like Woo. that one pulls like two or three pounds. Can you see this one from here, Clark? <laughs> That's Wayne. And that was a great call. That was almost a five pounder. It gave us another couple pounds. And, and at that point, I thought, we really have a chance. Now. Yeah, we, we have a chance. I and mean, anytime you're up in oh, that 24 man. pound range, I mean, even if we get beat with 24, 24 is a heck of a good way to end. That's right. It's a good way to end the day. Nice. Check the, check the total 24 14. All right. Nice. 
Dude, that was game yeah. day. It is, literally we have 10 minutes. Here she goes. Man, I'll tell you what, this lake is unbelievable. The amount of fish that are just swimming around the banks and big ones that you see cruising. I mean, this is, this is heaven. It's unbelievable. It totally is. I mean, we had a slow start because, you know, it's a little bit cloudy in the morning. There's right. wind everywhere you can't hardly see. Then the ones you find are hard to catch, but boy, towards the end, it kind of got, it got wide open. We're going to hit our totals. Here we go. All right. All right. <laughs> Hold yours up. If it says 40 on there, it's going to be... One, two, three. What does that say? 19 2. 19 2. 24.14. We, gotcha. we got gotcha. you. We got you. For more information about how and where we fished, be sure to check out fishhound.com, your best resource for great fishing. I hope you guys thought it was awesome too and enjoyed watching today's show. Toledo Bend is awesome. If you get a chance, get out here and enjoy this great lake. And stay tuned next week. We're going to be on a new lake with a new challenger. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge. See you guys. All right, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool.